Happy Saturday to you. I am Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea with your daily tropical forecast, the latest on what's happening out there in the tropics. And the good news, we are less than two weeks away from saying goodbye to this year's tropical season and we could say good riddance. Fortunately, we weren't hit by any major tropical cyclones, but there have been some pretty big hurricanes and tropical storms and tropical depressions that we've had to deal with. In fact, it looks like it's going to turn out to be a fairly normal hurricane season for the Atlantic Basin. We've had so far this year 14 named storms, an average season right around 14 named storms. We've had eight hurricanes this season and the average right at seven, so slightly above the norm for the number of hurricanes. And we've had two major hurricanes, the average for a season, at least the average taken between 1991 and 2020, around three major hurricanes. So at least we didn't have more than that, but those two major hurricanes did a lot of damage, especially across Florida. So we are going to be dealing with the cleanup and the aftermath, especially for folks in Florida for a while, but at least here we had no major impacts from any hurricanes or tropical storms. So very good news for us. We were fortunate. We of course have made it past the peak of hurricane season, which was right around September 10th, and we have less than two weeks until the end of hurricane season, which ends on November 30th. So let's check out what's happening across the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a few showers out in the Gulf, a little disturbance in the West Central Gulf there, but nothing that we're expecting to develop into a tropical cyclone. So looking good in the Gulf of Mexico, still some pretty warm waters in the Caribbean, still water temperatures in the 80s for many spots in the Caribbean, but nothing that we're concerned about developing into a tropical depression, tropical storm or a hurricane out into the Atlantic Ocean. All is pretty quiet. Just a few showers and storms out there fairly disorganized, but the National Hurricane Center over the next five days, not anticipating any new tropical cyclone activity and we don't have any right now so very quiet just the way we like it same story for the eastern pacific no tropical cyclone activity expected over the next five days let's check out some of the water temps and of course it is getting a little bit cooler for the northern gulf we've had this big chunk of that very chilly air spill in from Canada. It's basically inundated almost the entire US. It's pushed all the way down towards the Gulf Coast. So it's pushed into the Northern Gulf as well. So we do have some cooler water temps, sea surface temps in the Northern Gulf with those buoy observations in the low 60s for the Northern Gulf, low 70s as we push back towards the West Central Gulf, but back into the Caribbean, still water temps in the 80s. So if we could get something going that could push into the Caribbean or develop in the Caribbean, there's still warm water there that could help to fuel or strengthen a tropical system. But at this point, models are not indicating that we do have that threat, at least for the next five days. We've made it through the first two columns of names for the Atlantic Basin for this hurricane season. And we started off with Alex, of course. The last storm was Nicole, but we are now not dealing with any storms or hurricanes out there. But if we were to get some additional development, it would be Owen, then Paula, then Richard. But hopefully hurricane season will come to an end before that happens. Once again, hurricane season officially ending at the end of the month, November 30th. So we are less than two weeks away and I'm hoping we keep things on the quiet side for the remainder of our hurricane season. Of course, if that changes or if you just want to know more about what's happening locally or more about what's happening in the tropics, you can always find out tons of weather info by downloading the Fox 26 weather app. If you don't have it, where do you go? Head to the app store, whether you have an Android phone or maybe an Apple phone, you can go to the the app store search for Fox 26 and you can download that and have all of that weather information at your fingertips wherever you are. Of course, it's always nice when you stop by and say hello to me as well. You can find me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Ramisha Shade TV, Facebook at Ramisha Shade Weather, and Instagram at Ramisha Shade. So enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be careful, be safe out there. If you're in the Houston area, we've got a lot of rain out there. So careful out there on the roads, but it should get a little bit drier and maybe a little brighter for the second half of the weekend. Stay safe. Have a good evening.